Hello everyone and welcome back to Jack Elite Educational Channel. So this is the part 49 for the UGC NET Environmental Science most expected questions in which today we are going to start the unit 10 that is contemporary environmental issues. So if you are preparing for any of the environmental science entrances these videos are very very useful and important for you so don't forget to note down all these things while you are watching the video yes you can also join our telegram group learn for the environment the link will be provided in the description for attending the regular quizzes so that you can strengthen your preparation for the upcoming exams so next it is about instagram page where you can also join to get current affairs and short notes so without wasting much time let's get started The first question is on your screen the question is joint forest management concept was introduced in India during which of the following years so i'll wait for certain seconds then i will reveal the answer so here the correct option will be option number 2 that is this joint forest management concept was actually introduced in the year 1989 that's why it will be included in the 80s but it was passed this law was passed in the year 1990 so note down these are very very important 1989 it was introduced so it will be a 1980s but it was passed in the year 1990 that is joint forest management concept Second question is joint forest management was initiated in India at which of the following place so this question again from the joint forest management so here the correct option will be option number b in arabari west bengal this joint forest management was initiated in india let's move to the next set of questions here are the next set of questions Namami Gange program the question is coming from there the question is Namami Gange that is integrated Ganga conservation mission program under the National Ganga River Basin Authority program was launched in which of the following years so these years are very very important as per as unit 10 is concerned so here the correct option will be this program that is Namami Gange was launched in the year 2014 that is 2014 option a will be the correct option coming to the next question next question is which state in india is pioneer in making rain water harvesting as a compulsory measure in towns to avoid the ground water depletion and the options are kerala arunachal pradesh tamil nadu or maharashtra so here the pioneer state in india for making the rain water harvesting as a compulsory measure is option number c tamil nadu coming to the next question next question is as a part of sign international agreement on phasing out the synthetic hydrofluorocarbons that are hfcs india will start phasing them out from which of the following years so this is also one of the very frequent last question i hope most of you will be able to answer this So this question's correct option will be option number C. India will start phasing out the HFCs from the year 2028. Let's move to the next set of questions. Next question is on your screen. The question is International Year of Desert and Desertification was observed in which of the following years? So the correct option will be 2006. is the international year of desert and desertification which is called as in short form iydd and it was declared by the united nations general assembly that is unga let's move to the next question next question is also very very frequently asked very easy question keeling curve presents the yearly variations in the concentration of which of the following gases So here correct option will be option D that is carbon dioxide's yearly variation tracking is done with the help of the Keeling curve which is located in Mauna Loa that is the observatory is located in Mauna Loa Hawaii that is in US Let's move to the next question next question is the dash of the United Nations intergovernmental panel on climate change that is IPCC was declared in the year 2021 So which assessment report was declared in the year 2021 for the United Nations IPCC So here the correct option will be 
ऑप्शन नंबर सी दैट इज सिक्स असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट ए आर सिक्स विच इज कॉल्ड एज वॉज डिक्लेयर इन द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड यू हैव टू नोट डाउन दैट सम पोर्सन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू द रिपोर्ट इज ऑल्सो बी गोइंग टू पब्लिश एंड ए आर फाइव दैट इज असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट फाइव वॉज इन द ईयर ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन एंड फर्स्ट असेसमेंट रिपोर्ट वॉज इन द ईयर year in which the assessment report for the intergovernmental panel on climate change was declared let's move to the next set of questions so the question is which one of the following environmental treaties is considered as successful mission whether it is kyoto protocol montreal protocol mail declaration or copenhagen accord so here correct option will be option number b that is montreal protocol is regarded as the international treaty as a successful mission for controlling the ozone layer that is the international treaty to protect the ozone layer ozone healing cfc control we should all know this thing and it was done in the year 1987 coming to the next question the next question is the guiding principles for the national land utilization policies are as follows so you have to tell me which are the guiding principles under the nlup that is national land utilization policy so here all these four are the guiding principle for the nlup that is inclusive growth poverty eradication and gender equality equal opportunities balanced development and intergenerational justice efficient utilization of resources and mitigation of impacts integrated and comprehensive development planning so all these are very very important kindly note down principles for the national land utilization policy again the next question is from the same concept that is national land utilization policy here two statements are given assertion statement states the goal of the nlup is to achieve improvement of livelihood food and water security under the umbrella of sustainable development in india reason statement states the nlup envisages a guiding framework for state specific needs potential priorities and legal provision so you have to tell me whether both the statements are correct with the reason being the correct explanation or only assertion or only reason is correct so read these statements very very carefully so here the answer will be both the statements are correct and reason is the correct explanation for the assertion statement about the national land utilization policy let's move to the next set of questions next question is coming from cfcs the question is in addition to their role in ozone depletion cfcs play a role in global warming by performing which of the following process so here the correct option will be option number d cfcs play a major role in absorbing the terrestrial radiation that's why they play a role in the global warming apart from depleting the ozone layer of stratosphere coming to the next question the next question is which of the following convention protocol or treaties is legally binding on the signatory countries options are basel convention montreal protocol kyoto protocol or paris agreement so here the correct option will be option number b montreal protocol that is the legally binding from the signatory countries so here you should note down i have made a trick that is money is the legally binding if you are having something related to money so from money montreal you can remember it is legally binding treaty coming to the next question the next question is the vienna convention is basically related to which of the following so this is also one of the frequent last concepts in the environmental science entrances and i know many of you would have guessed it correctly here the correct option will be option number b that is protection of ozone layer the vienna convention is related to and it was signed in the year 1985 it is also important vienna is the name of the place which is in austria that is a u s t r i a austria vienna that's why their convention is called as vienna convention where it took place in 1985 let's move to the next set of questions next question is the supreme court of india directed the government to implement the environmental education in all higher educational institution as a compulsory subject in which of the following years so here 
in the year 2003 supreme court of india directed that environmental science should be a compulsory subject in the higher education institution and environmental education as a compulsory subject in school was declared in which of the following years so here it was declared in the year 1991 the decision was taken that in schools the environmental education should be compulsory in india but in higher education institution it was decided in the year 2003 coming to the next question the next question is in india wetland conservation is presently done by the minister of environment forest and climate change that is m o e f c c we all know that under which of the following program so think about this answer so here it is done under the national plan for conservation of aquatic ecosystem that is npca and it is both for the wetlands as well as the lakes so wetland conservation as well as lakes conservation is done by the ministry of environment forest and climate change under the same program that is national plan for conservation of aquatic ecosystems so these are some of the questions from the unit 10 which are very very important and expected in the environmental science entrances i hope you have noted down and you have enjoyed the video if you haven't watched the previous 49 lessons in this series you can watch the link provided in the description as well as in the i button starting from the unit 1 to unit 10 everything will be very very important so don't forget to subscribe the channel if you want to enjoy more such videos see you guys in our next video keep smiling and believe in yourself